Oh, looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk, Ricky tired. <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. All right, let's head back now. Before I do, I'm going to stick Ryan in the party in place of Shulk. I'll, st I'll tell you why later. Later. Not now. Uh, mostly because Triple Tank is fun. No, no, but also because I have good reason for doing so. Ah, uh, Triple Tank. Brings me back to, uh, to my, uh, old Overwatch days. So we've got the map here that actually shows off how areas connect to each other on the teleporter, so that's really convenient. But, uh, enough of that. Let's go back to the Sentry Gate and actually head off back into Alchemoth. Or, I suppose we could have just skipped trouble directly to Alchemoth with the menu. Shut up. Uh, can we actually skip? Yeah, we can skip right to White Moon Palace. Alright, let's go! Uh, not that way. This way. Also, I feel like, like me personally, I kind of get freaked out by a place like this. Like, IRL, I'm kind of, I, not really like a fear fear of heights, but like, it's like the sort of thing where like if you look outside of an airplane window you kind of get a little bit woozy or well not an airplane or if I look out of an airplane window I kind of feel like fine but like if I'm standing on top of a bridge looking down I feel really really like woozy and scared that sort of a thing so it's kind of a fear of heights kind of not I don't know how to describe it let's just go inside here oh do we gotta talk to you in order to rest up yes first name palace second name attendant Let's take a rest. Wait, we don't have beds! Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than twenty years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess! Took you long enough. Uh, her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess.
The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First Consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, His Highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask... Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melly not like other bird people. Melly like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that. We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already. Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Well, some assassins we've got here just running straight into the room. This is why I told you to remove Shulk from the party. Shulk's Minato can't hurt people. So, he does one damage to these guys. Yeah! Yeah. So, you can't really do a whole lot against these guys with uh, Shulk in the party because, well, Shulk can't actually do damage to these guys. Which is why I have um, Ricky and Ryan and, and Dunbane in the party instead. Because, well, these guys can damage humans. It's the first time we've ever really had this issue in-game, mostly because we haven't actually fought humans in this game. Or, well, not humans, but high end. They, they count as human type enemies, is what I'm saying here. But anyway, these guys aren't actually that tough. The only thing about them is if there's a lot of them, and if you let a lot of them stick around for too long, uh, they can actually inflict a chain attack on you, which is really, really bad. But it's not too bad. I think this worldly slash will just finish her off. Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's... Brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. 
He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness, as agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life, or death, is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Ryan. But Dumban! This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. All right. So, what do I want to carry on with me? Let's stick Shulk back in the party for this. Mm. Although, you know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna run triple tank. Let's keep Shulk out of the party for this part. Also, are we just gonna brush off the fact that Alvis casually said Shulk and I have the same gift, or 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 or, or what? I guess we're too concerned about Melia. Oh well. Also, there are so many people in those last few cutscenes that are just sus as. I'm trying not to swear, but you know what they're sus as. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to rush over to the High Entia tomb and try and save Melia. See you guys then. I swear to God, Ricky looks like he's constipated or something when he dances like that. <laughs>